Hi, I'm Andrew Ormsby and uh, I live down here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I have a restaurant called Tucker and also have a, quite a large catering company. Uh, we also do our own in-house banqueting here and we serve a lot of Australian land. The cuisine here at Tucker is uh, probably a broad type of cuisine. I'd say more like a European brasserie. We have to do different meat dishes to lend themselves to the hot and to the cold weather. Um, I find that the lamb is great because it can do that right across the board. I have a butcher that buys all my meat for me. Um, he's never ever had a problem sourcing the product for us. We get it delivered fresh, which to me is very important, uh, in vacuum seals, uh, and we know it just it, the product's going to last. It's very easy to prepare because when it comes to us in the vacuum seal, it's already Frenched. Easy to clean around the bone, easy to slice through because the chine bone's been removed. So because of that, it's, it's quite easy for the chefs to put up hot on a plate consistently. I'm very proud of the Australian lamb. I know that whenever we serve it, we've never had a complaint. People adore it. We've even had people at the table saying that, uh, oh, I don't really like lamb. And people say, just try this, and they go home loving it. Since serving Australian lamb in the restaurant here in Tucker, we now are able and have the clientele that are now confident to do dinners even up to six, 700 people with lamb. I think it might be good to show you some of the things that we can do with the Australian lamb and how versatile the product is. So why don't we go over to the kitchen and we'll, um, we'll, we'll have a go. I get a daily delivery of the, uh, of the lamb. Um, it comes in uh, fresh from Australia and it comes in a vacuum seal. Um, it's uh, mainly racks that we use all the time. Uh, very good consistent product. We're really happy with it and so are our customers. The lamb that we, we get is grass fed. Um, and because of that, I think it has a very sweet uh, taste, but also very lean. It's extraordinary the amount of lamb we're now selling on very large banquets. Um, uh, that being the case, uh, racks and chops mostly people love because of the, the, the tenderness. But there's also the top sirloin, which is a wonderful piece of meat. We have a, a quite a large catering operation now. Um, we do about 300 lunches a day. Uh, and then at night time, we've had up to, I think the record is 17 parties off premise in one evening um, and seven years ago when I came here the it, lamb for a large dinner for something like a three or four hundred banquet was a hard sell I think because people thought oh a lot of people don't like lamb and we're now interestingly, interestingly enough we're now in a situation where lamb has become the second meat over beef which is in Texas I think is an extraordinary thing we find that most of the people down here love the lamb medium rare. I think it eats beautifully. But the one good thing about it is when people do order Australian lamb, well done. As much as the chefs will cringe, it holds up beautifully and it's still really, really sweet and tender. So you've got the beet juice, the lamb jus from the bones, the, the black winter truffles, and the prima donna mashed potato. It's a nice dish. It's one of the biggest selling dishes in our restaurant. And that's Australian lamb, and uh, next time you're down in Dallas, Texas, we'd love to see you at Tucker Restaurant.